Okay, and we're back. At least I think we are. I think we are too? Yeah, we're back. Okay, Hello. yeah. Let's do it. Uh, so I opened the random keyhole. <laughs> I freed the carpet. Yes. And the carpet went this way, I think. We. The carpet flew that way, right? I have no idea. I don't remember. We were watching the, um... The Big Aladdin, Aladdin, Aladdin video. Yeah. yeah. A lot more cursing than I remember, so heads up. <laughs> yeah. The coursing. <gasps> wow, that's a bad hiding spot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm Jasmine, my father's assaulted a vagabond. <laughs> oh, so that makes you a princess. But he's been deposed by Jafar, who now controls the city. Jafar? You haven't heard of him? He's the royal vizier. He's gained evil powers and seized Agrippa. Are you impressed? I know how to say vizier. I actually but... was impressed. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I paused. He's for desperately a looking for something. Something he calls the keyhole. <laughs> Jafar Kobe tried to escape, but he helped me. He helped you? We were hiding nearby, but he left a while ago to take care of something. Oh, I hope Aladdin's all right. Aladdin. Where might I find this street rat? Oh. Jasmine, allow me to find you more suitable company, my dear <laughs> princess. These little rats won't do you, see. Jasmine, run! <laughs> Ah, Why is he not looking up? That's a really good question. Neither is Donald. <laughs> they got lazy. <laughs> Goofy was like the one that was on track. <laughs> he was like, uh huh, guys. <laughs> He's gonna kill us. <laughs> <laughs> we should be paying attention. Oh, there's another keyhole. Uh, I'm gonna insert my key in there. Mm, insert mm. it hard and fast. Uh, it's moist. <laughs> uh -huh. I was just thinking of uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy with the doors. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. yeah. Hopefully I can navigate this place. I think I got this door. Yeah, I think he just unlocked it. Yeah. Like, this is one of the few places where I'm going to struggle a little bit, I, th I feel like. Because there's just so many it's, places. Yeah, it's know. it's a rat maze. Uh -huh. <laughs> God, that thing's so creepy. I hate it. All right. Wait. I think you have to go back because go back fell. where? Well, oh, oh you have to I go on, onto the like the, the other canopy. Canopy. The yellow. Oh no. Yeah, right. that's the way I came. So. You, you, well, you came from right there's there. There's probably another keyhole somewhere. Uh, I can't go up there, can I? It not not seem yet. Like... Okay. Hmm. You did I open? No, I didn't. Well, you got a chest now. Mega Eva. Let's see. Where do I go? What do I do? What do I do? Do 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 do. I think I have to go to the deserts. Deadly deserts. Was that Wait, what they actually uh, called? Do I go up there? Wait, I think there's a room. I know, like this room. Oh, there's a chest. Comes full circle, and I couldn't find it for the longest time. What was it that you're looking for? It, well, it's something with the story, like this room. Oh. Oh, I gotta do the Trinity thing to get to it. <laughs> That's something else Trinity. beneficial about those save points you probably have noticed is that they regenerate all the health and the mana. Oh, I didn't whenever notice you step that. on them. Yeah. Oh, well, that's smart. It goes on for miles. Oh. What happens if you just ignore the carpet and wander off? Do you want to come along? All aboard. <laughs> Whee! What are they? They're not holding on to anything. Oh, dang. Aladdin's about to... <laughs> He's waist deep in stuff. I don't know. I don't I... know. Oh, cool. Monkey. I'll name him Japoo. Japoo! <laughs> oh, uh, just thinking, just before you came, I had 
like the, one of the coolest dreams ever. Oh, really? You don't normally dream. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, like I've been dreaming. I have dreams, mom. And so I, I know I've been having dreams lately. I don't remember tidbits, but like this one, I actually remembered a fair portion. It's because Saturn. I, I was in this life. weird, kind of dystopian kind of future, mm -hmm. and I was living on this like reservation kind of thing outside of this major metropolis, like Neo, Neo Tokyo kind of thing. Right. Except we're in like the underbelly borough of it. Oh god. Outside it. of so it. So you're like the poor class. And I was of yeah, this society. And part of the arrangement of being living there was that I was kind of like caretaker. Oh interesting. Of what? Um of like older people and like farming and stuff like that because oh. they had their own like irrigation cool. system farming and stuff. Cool. And one of the residents had something incredibly valuable that none of us knew about that I was taking care of. And a bunch of guys came over and like stuck us all up, like invaded. Uh, let this go. Wish number one coming right up. Wow. <laughs> Kill Jafar. Wish number two. <laughs> uh. Thanks, Sora. But it would solve all the problems. Probably, yeah. Same old stuff. Hunting legendary treasure. Just paid a visit to the Cave of Wonders. Uh, what? I found <laughs> AKA <that place>. Jasmine. <laughs> and this lamp. Uh, Legend has it that yeah. whoever holds the lamp can summon. Please, the... kid, leave the intros to a professional. The one and only Genie of the Lamp. Rub it up, up the lamp and have your two wishes granted. This winner is Aladdin. Congratulations. I never no. saw the real, like, person Patience movie of Aladdin. No, there have I. <laughs> Bless you. Ah, it's all the sand. Then I make like a banana and steal it. Our lucky winner made his first wish. And let me tell you what a doozy that wish was. So he has two left. What was his first wish? Oh, oh for the, the heartless. Of the heartless yeah. So that Number this guy's going die. Two. He didn't really follow through if there's like so not the world. That's true. Good money, royalty, fame. Why didn't I do that? Okay, you asked for it. A hundred servants and a hundred candles loaded with gold. Just say the word and I'll deliver it in 30 minutes or less or your meal free. Hey, I'll even throw in a cappuccino. <laughs> no thanks. Okay. I think I'll put that on hold until we reach Agrava. <laughs> oh, why a prince? You see, there's this... Sorry, I was just thinking like how Agrabah dumb his wishes were. Jasmine. In the movie? But she's a princess. Yeah. Well, let's see, he wished to be a prince, so he got, like, a ton of wealth, prestige, and freedom. We, yeah, and the third wish was for <laughs> genius freedom. freedom. But what was the first one? Oh, the first one was to get out of the cave, because remember, he was trapped. Oh. Alright, take it back, those are all pretty legit. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, I would just say, I wish for you to be my friend. And oh my you know gosh, what friends do? They give people. each other's wishes. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Sora's hair looks extra spiky. Comes with a job. Phenomenal cosmic powers. That goofy's face is like in purse like by porcupine. Sonic would be jealous. I'm lucky to see the light of day every century or two. Say, Genie, what if I use my last wish to free you from the I wish for a second carpet. You do <laughs> God, that was the face of yeah. someone who's like, go on, go on, and yeah. once you free me, I will take your entrails and wear it as a necklace. Like that, that was that face. Yeah, like yeah, the actual genies were, uh, were like very nefarious and evil. Yeah. Like any wish you made would go wrong. Yeah, right, little shot of horrors. Come on, baby, lock up, baby, lock um, up. Oh, so yeah, your dream. So one of your people you were caretaking had something oh, very valuable. had something very valuable, and we got, because it's like the future and crime is like high on the list or whatever. Right, right. Um, so yeah, a bunch of people came over were trying to steal something that he had that none of us knew about. Mm -hmm. And he had like a heart attack in the process. Oh, dang. And me being the caretaker. Come on. Um, it gets like 
gets even better. Like we, we knew like we, we knew that they were coming over, and uh, apparently a girl I was dating, like her aunt, who was much older, that was caretaking, was like showing me weapons that I could equip. She's like, yeah, this one was my ex-husband's, which is like a and like, like AR-47. Yeah. Yeah, it was like AR-15, like you know, futuristic looking rifle. Mm -hmm. And she's like, you get you get picked between that one and this one. And the other one was the most powerful handgun in the world. So, and I was like, it's like, dude, this is a, this isn't even legal at all. <laughs> I was like, I'm not gonna, I can't shoot this. Like, who can shoot this? I can't shoot this. And she started chuckling. She's like, I'll have this one. <laughs> wait, wait, the old lady. The old was lady like, was like, she's like, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh, that, that's yeah. amazing. I, I know. I was, it's like hell yeah. When I woke up, I was like, "That is that is that's a quality. badass yeah. auntie." And then like later, I can't quite remember how it was ending because I woke up before I could finish a dream, mm -hmm. which, which is which the worst. Always, so annoying. Yeah. Um. But yeah, so I remember I managed to. I was getting interrogated because I was a caretaker, so I might have known something. Mm -hmm. So they sent me with one of the guy. And I guess we'll go this way. Um, so I managed to escape the interrogation. They put me like the farming, um, like the greenhouse right. used for irrigation. And I managed to like, by complete chance, like overtake him and pop around in him. And on the walkie-talkie, they were like, 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 like it, it, you know, he had nothing to say. <laughs> I had to like pretend to be him. I was like, yep, you know, classic, mm -hmm. you know, taken scenario or something. Um, anyway, so I managed to escape. And as I'm walking away, like I'm starting to go through like the like like the weird underpasses of like, the city. Right. And then as I'm walking away, I was like, police are gonna show up for an hour. And I know they're gonna like dispose of everyone before police can arrive. So I had to go back and take them out. Dang. <laughs> I was like and I remember like the first shot I took was like very nerve-wracking. So I was like, the moment I do this. They know Let, I'm out there. Yeah, well, once I do this, there's no going back. There's anymore. no going back. Yeah, it was like a die-hard Home Alone kind of dream, and I was, I was loving it. That that is awesome. But for, what made it for me was that it all felt very le like legitimate, like stuff I would do. So that, I was yeah. like, it's kind of like someone took my leash off, and I'm just like, yes. If that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's just, it is. It is. Um, uh, I think we're over on time. And I've just been Oh yeah, no, no, we're yeah, we're, we're all good for this episode. Oh okay. Oh, there well, we go. So late. Jafar is after Jasmine and this keyhole, or is it the keyhole? Who else? I could swear I've heard that before somewhere. David. <laughs> now where was it? It's only been two hundred years. Well, anyway, we've got to stop Jafar before it's too late. All right, yeah. let's yeah. go ahead and save. We're gonna stop nice. it here. Not the most eventful episode. It's a desert. Nothing ever happens. Yeah, but we're talking a lot, though, so that's good. I, I guess so. I really noticed. Alrighty, y'all. Anyway, see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.